Hello, uh, you know what I'm seeing? I'm seeing a lot of money being left on the table by realtors on behalf of their sellers. Now, not every transaction uh, do we see evidence of this, but um, we see a lot of it. So for instance, um, this is home sold since January 1st in Poway. No other, no other filters. And then I clicked on days on the market and set it up in this order. And uh, we see that zero, 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 one, two, three, 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 four, four, five, five, six. And it goes out um, the first, it's 60 homes, I'll show you. 41 or two, I think it was 40, went out 14 days, 41. Now, somewhere between 10 and 14 days, um, you would expect plenty of time to get marketing out to local um, buyers, to have a, a, a weekend or create sort of an auction environment, get some real interest in the property and get, um, and get a lot of, like, basically to get really strong offers with really strong buyers percolate up to the surface. Now, could that happen in five days with exceptional marketing and a lot of, you know, we know there's a lot of demand. So a lot of people seeing the property, yes. Um, but is it likely? Is it likely to have happened in zero, one, one, two, three, three, four? No. On the whole, we're just seeing, basically this is this, the conclusion. Realtors are trained to sell homes and all the marketing from all the gurus in a balanced market or in more of even a buyer's market. They're not really, they don't have the systems in place. They don't have, they haven't applied themselves to the seller's market where uh, uh, you can underprice a home and see it gone and zero out in, in no days. First day on the market, four offers. One offer, you know, that's probably signatures going back and forth in one, two, and three days. So we're seeing homes go on the market, we're seeing sold immediately. Uh, the buyers are aware because they've got uh, not only MLS, data, you know, really informed buyers are getting the data on the broker feed. The broker sets them up with the MLS feed, boom, they get it right away. Other, other buyers are looking on websites every day and, you know, they're well aware, they know their area, they're targeted. When they see a home that's over, underpriced, boom, they're all over it. And maybe multiple offers come in. And we're going to talk about while well, most realtors are um, handling multiple offers in a suboptimal manner. We'll do that in the next video. I, I was asked by the California Association of Realtors to train realtors on multiple offers at the Anaheim and Expo they had, at the Expo in Anaheim they had a few years ago. And um, and I I will share what with you what I've learned there. But I know that brokers, instruct many brokers instruct realtors to handle the process in a suboptimal manner for the homeowner, but it's really good for avoiding liability for the brokers. And yeah, it, 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 it's probably safer for the homeowners, but it's certainly suboptimal. We see a lot of that. Um, and you know, we'll go over that in the next video, but I, before, just so you don't think I'm cherry picking, I'm gonna go back to the data and uh, we'll pick um, a place where I'm aware of what was going on because I sold a home for clients here recently. I also used to live there, so I've been seeing it go on for years. Um, and we're gonna go search again. And this time we're gonna see 87 homes come up. This is since January 1st sold in a zipping um, Carlsbad. And I've, I've sorted on the days on market. That's taking longer. Oh, here we go. So we're seeing, um, let's see, 40 is gonna be halfway. We'll see how many days. Six days at 40. Yeah, there's a lot of demand in Carlsbad. Uh, any neighborhood with good schools, family homes is gonna be a ton of demand. But, and yeah, it, you know, there, there was a saying, I remember back when the market was slower and I was first thinking about getting into real estate. Um, people, realtors who were looking, talking to me about maybe selling my home, I, I was started off as a FISBO, but then I started talking to realtors. And, and we talk about the homeowner selling down the street in one or two days. And I hear stories, oh, well, they sold it to one of their clients or someone they knew or a relative. And other realtors would say, oh yeah, there's the old saying, uh, price them low, see them go. And and this is what I am concerned about. I've been aware of this. Act That's actually, I sold the home as a FISBO in 2003. So I've been aware of that ever since. It, it would, it's what made me go from a realtor, from, from just being a real estate attorney to being a realtor. I wanted to advise people. I want to make sure that they don't price them too low and see them go. I want to see them uh, market, you know, the local market. Th there's a way to market to a really strong buyer's pool it takes a while to percolate those offers. That's not gonna happen immediately. Now, if there was pre-marketing going on, yes, but our realtor, are many realtors sending out pre-marketing on a home they don't even have listed yet? Doesn't, or they, well, let me just say this. There's a pre-MLS strategy where, yeah, if, if you, you can put a home in front of the house, you can say coming soon, you can do some local pre, uh, some pre-marketing to the local market, and that might be uh, one or 2% of these homes. Um, but what I'm saying is that give me a call, 
and I will talk to you about something I've I've witnessed for over a decade. I'm going to tell you uh, at least one of, well, I'll tell you that, I promise. Give me a call. I'll tell you the very best strategy I know to avoid this problem and make sure you get top dollar. And it's and, and I also promise you when I tell you this, um, almost no other realtor is going to talk to you about it. And you'll, you know, you just give me a call. Say, I saw you on the video. I'm a little dubious. No other realtor is going to talk to me about it. But I'd love to hear what you're saying. And I'm going to tell you straight up, and you're welcome to work with somebody else. Just give me a call and we'll talk about it. Two, I'm also... Um, going to give you an opportunity because I want to be your coach as much as I want to be your realtor because I want to make sure you have this process handled in an optimal manner for you. Uh, you can consider just hiring. Let's say you, let's say you're not anywhere near North County, San Diego. Let's say you feel that some other local realtor is a realtor you want to work with because, well, for myriad reasons. Maybe it's a relative. Maybe you're a luxury home, you know, with uh, a water view and you feel that um, one of the agents that you know is going to spend twenty thousand dollars marketing your property and it's not going to be me but you want to have you know a lawyer on board great i'll tell you what i've done many times for people it started in the short sale process many years ago i do something called transaction management i help you either hire your realtor or interview three realtors we uh we gather in the process that they suggest maybe we optimize the process but we also i'm also then there as a lawyer to help you all along the way when questions come up when they come up with disclosures or escrows making you sign really funny documents related to taxes or even their own uh, intake escrow documents, which basically changes the contract that you had between the buyer and yourself. And they do it. They act like, hey, that's just how business is done. I'll tell you whether that's how business is done and how you can change it for the better. Uh, so they're all through the process. Give me a call. I'll help you um, either sell your market, your, your home for top dollar, or I'll help you help your realtor sell you your home for top dollar, and it's not going to cost you anything because I can refer it out to the realtor of your choice. Uh, give me a call. We can talk about it. Uh, I want to try to keep this video. It's already longer than I wanted it to be. Give me a call. I'm friendly. Uh, no obligations. Thanks. John McConnell. FavoriteRealEstate.com.